What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Zay. Um, as you guys see earlier, I am with my buddy Zach. Um, if you guys have been watching for a while now, I did Zach's spark plugs four or five months ago. But today's video, we are picking up some parts for the Lexus. Um, we are picking them up from a bus station. It was kind of weird, I don't know what this is working out or how it worked out. But it worked for me and the seller. Um, it does have to deal with the front end of the Lexus, so if you guys want to say yes, go ahead and leave a comment down below, but we will let you know when we're guys are there and kind of see how it goes. Alright, the bus station should be around here somewhere. I don't know. I've never been here before. I just heard about it. Okay, this is it. I have no- Package? Package Express? That has to be it. That, package Express? That, just park in here? Yeah, it, dude. Just park right there. One try? Single try? And it would just fucking tuck in all the way over here. And bang, that's how you pick it Done apart. deal. Ready? Let's go, dude. Yeet. Oh. Oh. Lock the doors, you said. All right, let's try and enter through here. My goodness, that was forever. So we're meeting, we're meeting or where? The back way. The back way. I'm not even gonna lie, dude. Some of those boxes are pretty, pretty, pretty messed up. So hopefully they're good. All right, guys. So we just did pick up the packages. Um, that was kind of a weird experience. Um, so they are open from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. on lunch from one to three or one to 1:30, and then two to six are open. So when I got called on Wednesday, I couldn't pick these up because I was at work, and then to try and figure it out, and then get a truck it was it was a mess but then we came in today um it wasn't too bad it was two packages the boxes look messed up i don't know if they are broken or damaged we're gonna have to see that later but everything went smooth everything went well i'm gonna have to come back down again later this week or next week whenever the oh, i almost said it whenever the next package comes in and it will go from there but right now i'm gonna repay zach i appreciate him with the truck and everything so we're gonna go get some food We're gonna watch those from the window, but let's get a burger. Yeah, me. Yeah, me. Cool, thank you. You gotta keep your eyes on the prize over there while we eat. You so rude to us. I don't know. Who trying to be nice, I guess. Who charges for fries, bro? It's bottomless fries, dude. Who charges for fries? <laughs> You know I mean? Don't come to Red Robin. You know I mean? How was it? Good? Fire? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, well, that was good. Before. It was good. Service sucked. Yeah, yeah, that well. service was awful. Lady didn't give me half the stuff we ordered. I just don't think we should eat in the bar anymore. I think it'd be better outside the bar. Maybe. That might be it. Let's see if the parts are still here, and or I gotta go hunt someone down. No, we're good. It's still here. Basketball shoes are still there too. Might be, might be broken. What? What? What'd you say? Basketball shoes are still there too. Your basketball shoes? Oh, they are. Cool. Yoy. Let's go home and open them boys up. Yeah. All right guys, so it is a couple weeks later. I do apologize for how long this video is taking to shoot due to the fact that we had to wait for the third box for the Lexus, but it's finally here. It's here today. We're gonna get unboxing and unraveling of all that stuff, but huge shout out to you guys. I'm almost at 700 subs. Without you guys, I don't even know how I would feel right now. I'm doing this for the love of the car scene, for the love of the cars, for just the passion of it. But like I said, let's go ahead and get all these boxes grouped up and let's see what we got for the Lexus. All right guys, so here is one of the pieces. Um, this was the one that had the biggest issue with the shipping company. Um, as you guys can tell, like 
that's a yay big. I don't know how you would lose something like that, but they did. Um, we have the other two pieces over there. We're gonna grab them all up. I'm gonna bring them inside. The wind is kind of cheeks right now. So we're gonna unbox this, unbox the rest of them, and then hopefully we can get a view of what the Lexus is gonna look like in the future. Alright guys, so all the boxes are in the garage, but let's stop the video and give a shout out to Chewy.com that did not sponsor this due to the fact that I don't know why they would be interested in a car related video or hot or cold insulated cup. All right guys, so all the boxes are in the garage now. We're gonna just start from the smallest to the biggest just due to the fact that it's gonna be easier. So we're gonna start with this one and I definitely think this is what I've been really looking forward to the most, but let's go ahead and get started. Pulling this one aside. All right, so let's just go ahead and start what this seem would be the easiest point. Come on. Uh, come on. All right guys, so right here is the first thing that we unboxed. We have the driver and passenger fenders, and then we have the bottom pieces that should go right under the fenders. Um, so if you guys are kind of guessing where we're going towards this video, leave a comment down below. For those that already have a kind of guess of what we're doing, let me know what you guys think. We still have two more boxes to undo, and then we'll go from there. Yes, I'm so excited. I haven't even unboxed all of it and I just can see it and I'm so effing pumped, boys. Besides a big old mess I made, yeet, look how exciting this is, guys. We have the new headlights, the new corner lights, and then the 1999 front end for the Lexus. So yes, we are running a conversion kit on it. On the Lexus, we're gonna have the 99 front end and the 1995 rear, which is gonna be the whole goal to be different from most other builds. Yes, I know it's been done before probably, but my goal is to make all my cars stand out and be different as much as I can. Let's go ahead and unbox the hood so we can get a whole look of everything that we have ready to go. All right guys, so here's everything updated. All the bubble wrap, all the boxes are taken off. Um, I didn't get a closer look on the hood. It's just a basic 
stock OEM white hood. We have the lights over there, but I'm really, really excited. What is in store for the Lexus? Um, this is just the beginning. I have other couple parts that can be installed, but this is gonna be a huge difference and I'm really pumped on how it's gonna look. All right guys, so that is everything that I've been waiting to show you guys. We are doing a full front end conversion on the LS400. Um, I will not be installing it in today's video. We're gonna have to do a whole nother designated video for that. But thank you guys for staying to the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did like today's video, leave a comment down below. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And as per usual, no matter how far you get in life, to always remain humble and always try to make a difference. Deuce.